Raster data, key to GIS, come from diverse sources like aircraft, drones, satellites, sensors, digital pictures, and scanned maps. These can be acquired through computer processing, camera imaging, or sensor technology. To gather raster data from aircraft or satellites, sensors capture information about the Earth's surface, a method known as remote sensing. This allows for various types of raster data, including continuous data like elevation models. Rasters are grids of pixels arranged in rows and columns, representing data like image reflectance, land cover, elevation, or temperature. Pixel values can be positive or negative, integer or floating point, and can indicate data absence with a no data value. Each pixel covers an equal portion of the image, with pixel size determining resolution and the overall grid defining coverage or extent. Smaller pixels mean higher resolution but slower processing, while larger pixels offer lower resolution but faster processing and smaller sizes. In relation to the Earth's surface, a small pixel might be something like 1 by 1 meter, while a large pixel might be 5 by 5 kilometers. Rasters can have single or multiple bands of pixel values. A single band raster might represent one phenomenon, like elevation, or a single wavelength range. The number and range of bands determine spectral resolution. Multiband rasters can cover visible and non-visible spectra, including infrared or ultraviolet. Users can display single bands or create color composites by combining RGB bands, similar to standard images. Satellite images typically feature multiple bands representing various wavelengths across the electromagnetic spectrum. For example, Landsat Next imagery will collect data from 26 bands, including visible, near-infrared, mid-infrared, short-wave infrared, and thermal infrared regions. To learn more about GIS, follow us.